hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video i'm gonna be unboxing this package from not polish they sent me this back in december and this is their new winter collection so opening up the box this is what it looks like and i love how all of their packaging says not polished babes do it better i'm so grateful to be a not polished babe and that was kind of cringy to say but we're just gonna keep rolling and unbox this package um this is going to be a quick unboxing and a quick swatching process because this collection only comes with three colors i only received the powders the all-in-one powders but this collection also has the gel and lacquer sets to come with it which you can purchase on their website Site. so get into this first color so these really have some interesting names this first one here is called hornament and this is a really pretty blue powder it has some mylar flakes in it sort of like a iridescent flaky type look and it is really pretty and i love how the flakes sort of have a color shift to them they kind of look like multicolor, sort of like a rainbow um, I did have some problems in the past where my glitters and my acrylics turned colors, so hopefully that is not the case. The second color I'm going to be showing you is called Frosty, and this ended up being my favorite color. Um, when I opened it, it was spilled on the side just a little bit, so I did go ahead and dust that into the trash can so it wouldn't get all over my nail area. And this is what it looks like. It is a very light blue with like a shimmery glitter. It's so pretty and I absolutely love this color because when I swatched it, I was literally dying from the shimmers. Like it is just so pretty and it absolutely screams winter. Like just look at those really fine teeny teeny glitters. I really love that about it. And the last color here is called Santa's Lab and it's just a nude um and to be honest all of the not polished nude colors like straight from the jar they kind of all look the same to me but i guarantee you if you were to swatch all of them side by side you will definitely be able to tell even if it's just the slightest difference you will be able to tell um yeah this is how it looks like i said it looks pretty normal it's just a regular nude which I always think you can never have too many nudes in your collection because nude colors always work nice as a base for you to do nail art on top of it. And I love how this collection is just simple, straight to the point. This new collection will be linked down below in my description box along with my discount code. So moving on to the nails. So I'm just going to do some quick prep here. I'm not going to be doing too much prep just because I recently just took my last set off. And my last nails turned out so nice. I will link it up here in the cart if you haven't seen that video yet but it was a very nice and simple valentine's day recreation set that i seen from instagram but for the nail prep like i said i'm not going to be doing too much so i'm just taking my cuticle pusher and just pushing back my cuticles and then also if i feel the need to i will take the opposite end and just kind of scrape up some of that leftover product which is most likely just like the gel or some of that peel off base that I applied to my natural nails before I went in with my acrylic. And also I do just want to apologize because I don't know why but my voice is like really scratchy right now and yeah I don't know what's going on but I'm just going to keep going with the voiceovers. So next once I finish pushing back my cuticles I'm going to be taking my e-file and this nail drill bit i'm not sure what this is called but i'm also going around my cuticles to just further get up any of that product as you can see on some of them it does need it a lot but like on this one it doesn't really need it as much but i'm still gonna go just in case um I, there's some product that i don't see but yeah, i'm just gonna go around all of my cuticles and remove that product i will not be taking my cuticle nippers today just because i feel like there's nothing really to cut um, or even if there is, it's just since I do my nails so often, I just didn't want to. But once I finish going around the cuticles, after that part, usually I would take a sanding band and just work it around the cuticle area just one more time. But since, like I said, I do my nails so often, I don't want there to be like too much damage around my cuticle area. So instead of taking the e-file and the sanding band, I'm just going to buff around that cuticle area and just over the top of the entire surface of my nail bed. And once I'm done, I'm going to remove the dust and then go in with my peel off base. For my peel off method today, I'm going to be using some cuticle oil. I do like to use cuticle oil when I'm doing acrylics just because sometimes the acrylic can pop off a whole lot easier when I'm using the UNT peel off base coat. The pressure of me filing them, it just kind of takes a little bit more effort compared to filing poly gel. So for poly gel, I will most likely use the UNT peel off base coat since it is a lot easier 
um, to file. And I knocked over my cuticle oil, so I'm just wiping that up and getting a new paper towel so we can go ahead and start the nails. But of course, before we start the nails, I am just going to finish rubbing in this cuticle oil. And once it looks like this, I'm going to go in with my designated pop-off method top coat. Like I said, you always want to have a designated top coat that you use for the peel-off method. Because like I'm doing now, I'm applying this over a cuticle oil. So some of that cuticle oil may get into the bottle. Like I said, you don't want to use this on top of your finish look because it's not going to be cute at all and your top coat will start to separate so always just have a separate top coat something that is not very good quality or something you just don't use as often but once i finish applying the top coat to all of my nails i'm going to cure for 30 seconds and now we can start to apply the nail tips so the nail tips i'm going to be using for today are the thick the 3xl square no c curve tips from crafts by nine always linked down below in my description and just before we start to apply them, I'm taking some 91% ice purple alcohol and just wiping over the tips because sometimes the glue have a hard time sticking to that shiny surface. So just to keep from buffing over them and removing my peel off base, I just go in with some alcohol to rehydrate them. I'd apply them and I cut them down to my desired length. So I'm going to be doing some Valentine's Day nails. So I figured this would kind of help me with the start of my nails. So a while ago, I did order these pens that I saw on, I believe I saw these on TikTok. And these are acrylic paint markers for your nails. Um, I just figured it would be a lot easier, especially since I've been trying to get into nail art. Um, like drawing, even if it's on a smaller so surface, I feel like drawing, like having a pencil or like a marker in your hand would be a lot easier um, when doing nail art or if you want to write something compared to you like actually trying to paint it on if that makes sense. And if I can remember where I got them from, I will link them down below. But yeah, this is how they look. I did get a black and a white. I do believe they had a gold as well. And I also remember another brand. They had like all different colors of the rainbow. I'm not sure. But yeah, so how I'm going to be using these. So um, there's like this trend. It was also going on with Christmas as well. And I do see a lot of them with Valentine's Day. Since with Valentine's Day nails, you do see a lot of hearts. Um, there's like a cutout heart that you do on the middle and ring finger. There's like half hearts that when you put them together, they make a complete heart. And you all know I struggle with hearts, especially with doing the left side. So instead of just going straight in with that product, I'm just going to be outlining my heart just to make sure that they're straight or just to get like an outline of where I want the product to go. Um, as you can see, the left side is usually the side I would have trouble with, but for some reason, this right side I could not get right. I also think it was just because the ring finger is smaller than the middle finger, so I did have a little bit more room to draw on the heart. So trying to get that curve and then also trying to make it symmetrical and just even, it was a little bit harder because I had less room to work with. But once I got like the base of like my foundation or just an outline, um, it is not a good outline, just keep that in mind, but I'm just going to go ahead and with that product. And since I did love that color Frost You so much, I'm going to be using that for my heart. And I'm just going to be using that to fill in my hearts for the middle. I was so confused on why this one was a lot easier this time. Um, like I said, I think it was because it was a lot bigger and I had more room to work with. But doing this one was a lot easier, so for this one... Um, I'm going to show a little bit more of this one compared to the other one because eventually I did have to like come off camera a little bit so I can make sure that it was right. But this was a very easy and satisfying process just filling in that heart. It's like coloring in a coloring book but just with product or how you would practice with like the acrylic mats where you just try to get it inside of the um, outline. It was really satisfying to see this half heart just form up. And yeah, that's basically all I'm going to be doing. Like I said, my voice is like a little scratchy and it's kind of hard to get my words out. And I'm actually having a little bit of trouble trying to do this voiceover. Um, I did wake up a little bit early. Well, a lot earlier than I usually would this morning. I came out and swatched these powders and I also started doing my nails early. So um, I did this video, I edited this video and I'm doing the voiceover all in one day, which I believe is like my second time doing. My first time I was kind of forced because it was a sponsored video that had to be done in a certain time. But for this one, this is not sponsored. This is just a product review, but I'm just trying to get ahead of schedule. So I just... 
while I have the time, just go ahead and do it so I have a lesser chance of procrastinating and then falling behind on schedule again. So yeah, very simple. I'm just going to be filling in these hearts and I'm just going to go ahead and let this part play out so you guys enjoy it. Um, I didn't plan on making this video too, too long just because like you'll see why because I didn't really get a lot of my footage on camera and I will explain when that part come up. But I'm just going to go ahead and let this part finish playing out and let you guys enjoy me filling in these hearts. So right around here is where I did have to take it off camera just so I can make sure that I was getting it to be or look the best that it could because it was kind of hard to get that angle on camera. And so once it dried just a little bit, I'm taking a hand file and this is not my typical 8080 grit. This is something a, lo a lot finer because I didn't want to file too much and mess up my hearts and then have to go back and patch up the areas. So I'm taking a finer grit file and just kind of shaping up the heart, getting my curves right, just so that it looks a little bit better and a lot neater. And then once I finish, this is how it looks. I go ahead and remove the dust. It does look a lot better once I finish just shaping it up just a little bit. Um, and like I did, I remove all of that dust. And now I'm going to go in with that new from this new winter collection called Santa Slap. And I'm just going to go in and fill in all of the other spaces around this half heart. If I do get any on the blue areas, I just take the tip of my brush and just kind of slide it off like I'm doing here. And yeah, it's not really much to explain. So for most of this video, I am just going to let it play out until I move on to the next step. Or if I really have to explain something or mention something. But I did just want to mention before I go, um, if you are enjoying the video, make sure to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you're here and you haven't subscribed yet and you've been watching and liking my content, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe. It will really help my channel out a lot. And also, if you're feeling generous, leave a comment below.
and that application around the cuticle area kind of looked a little bit bumpy but I did kind of smooth it out or when it dried it did look a lot better. I went ahead and did my ring finger off camera and this is what it looks like. It looks pretty right here like it looks so good. I cannot believe that this is how it turned out. Um, I kind of wanted to add a little bit more darker blue to this to these two nails but I didn't know how that color would fit so I sat that to the side and I was just thinking of like what else could I do to my nails and I'm just showing a little bit of items that I'm also going to be including in my nail set so I have like these sequin pieces and these glitters that I'm going to be encapsulating but once I finished showing this, I did turn off my camera for whatever reason and I can't remember. But I did start to apply all of those items to my nails. And it's sort of like a pretty marble like here and there. Just kind of including stuff in the background to give it like a pretty glittery effect. And I didn't even realize I forgot to turn the camera back on. When I looked at my phone to make sure I was in frame, I literally gasped so hard because I realized I wasn't even recording. And like I really like how this turned out like I didn't even know this is what I was going to be doing so for none of this to be caught on camera was kind of devastating but sometimes it happens so I'm just going to go ahead and encapsulate this nail um, and then once I finish I'm going to move on to my ring finger but the good thing about this is I did repeat this on my thumb but I didn't show it on camera I recorded it for a reel so around the time I post these nails, I'll probably end up posting that too. So if you want to see the process of how I did this nail, just follow me on Instagram and I will be posting that reel very, very soon. But for now, I'm just going to be encapsulating and then once I finish, I'm going to move on to my pointer finger, which is the last nail I'm going to be showing on camera. So once I finished my pinky nail, I kind of didn't know what else I was going to do. So I did turn off the camera and brainstorm a little bit. And I wanted to use this frosty color a little bit more because I felt like I didn't really use it enough. Um, so I just felt like the easiest way to incorporate it would be to just do a solid nail or do something like an ombre. And I did decide on an ombre. So I'm going to be doing this new color here at my nail bay area and then simply just taking that frosty color and just putting it at the tip, ombreing it up. And I'm glad that I actually went with like an easier design like an ombre because at first I was thinking of doing a French tip. And it's really challenging to do the smile line with acrylic for me. So just keeping it very simple, I did just decide on an ombre. I honestly cannot get over how gorgeous this frosty color is. Um, like this is how my index nail look, and this is basically the base of my nails. Um, I 
I wasn't really sure if I was feeling it or not, but I just went with it. I'm going to show a little bit of me encapsulating my ombre neon camera. And then I did decide to keep out all of my shaping and filing just so that the process can go by a little bit faster. Because I did have in the back of my mind that I would be willing to pop off either my index nail or my pinky if it didn't look right as an entire set. So I did just decide to do all of that off camera, but I didn't end up popping anything off just because I just decided to roll with what I already laid down. So I'm just going to be encapsulating, I'm going to shape and file, and then I will come back to apply my rhinestones that I'm going to be adding to my hearts. Here's how the nails are looking after I shaped foul in buff. Um, so yeah, like I said, I don't really know if I'm feeling it or not, but I just decided to roll with what I have. So to apply my rhinestones, I'm going to be adding a glossy top coat. Instead of going in with a glue gel, I just decided it would be easier to just apply them and cure them into my top coat. The top coat I'm using is from Crafts by Nine. I've really been loving this top coat. It's super glossy and it goes on really smooth. Once I've applied the top coat, I'm just going to go around this heart here and just outline it with these darker blue rhinestones. I did feel like since I encapsulated some of the darker blue hearts into my pinky nail, I kind of had to put more dark blue in this set just because I felt like it would look out of place or wouldn't look right. So I did decide to outline my heart with the blue rhinestones. Once I get them all straightened up, I'm going to cure and repeat that same process on my ring finger. Also, I did just want to mention and say that I really hope this voiceover isn't too boring for you because for some reason I'm not really feeling this voiceover today. It could just be because I'm tired. Like I said, I did wake up a lot earlier than I usually would. Um, I am not a morning person. I haven't eaten yet. As of now, it's 7.30 p.m. and yeah, I haven't eaten yet so I'm just kind of tired and I just don't really feel like blabbing about random stuff or just stuff that doesn't have to do with the videos so I just talk about what's necessary like the products and just explaining what I'm going to be doing but hopefully this video is interesting enough for you guys to stick to the end and watch it um if you do make it to the end I really really appreciate you so much and just know I love you so much as well so yeah, with that being said, I'm just going to let the rest of this play out until I come back for the final results. And so I did just want to pop back on just quickly because I see something that I didn't see while applying it or earlier. I don't know which glitter it is I added that is reflecting pink but it is so pretty and I love that it's actually doing that. Usually I would kind of be upset if my glitter changed color but it's reflecting pink and I really really love it a lot. It's kind of giving me um, the idea to just do a full set like this encapsulating heart and hearts and glitters and just an iridescent pretty set. Um, but so I just added my cuticle oil and this is how the finished nails look. Um, usually I would say I really love how these turn out. 
I mean, I do love how they turned out, but for some reason, it's just not how I thought it would turn out exactly. So in other words, I do love how they turned out. It's just not my best work. Or I just had higher expectations or they kind of look a little bit plain. I'm not sure what it is. I do think my heart turned out pretty nice, although it's sort of uneven. But for the most part, it looks pretty good and these colors together are just so gorgeous. I really love this nude and that shimmery blue. Um, for the colors of this set, I feel like the colors don't really match because the blue, like I don't know, the darker blue, it just kind of looks out of place. And I kind of wish I did a little bit more with these colors. So tomorrow what I plan on doing is doing another set just using that blue color, that shimmery blue, because I feel like I didn't really use it enough in this set. Like this set doesn't really does that color justice. So I will be coming back doing a quick little set just using that blue color. So if you want to check that out, make sure that you stay tuned and have my post notifications turned on. I had a really fun time creating this heart and just creating this set. I really love my glitter nail. That was my favorite. My pinky, that was my absolute favorite. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.